everyone and welcome back to my channel Just Go with Amreen. We are diving into something very different today. House rents in Dubai. <laughs> if you are following me on Instagram then you know I have recently moved houses. I was living in a two bedroom apartment in Dubai which by the way I own and now I have moved into a three bedroom which I am renting. So I have experienced first hand what you go through as a landlord as well as a tenant. So I can give you information for both sides of the coin. If you are looking for a three bedroom in Dubai or just generally looking to rent a house in Dubai then stick around to the end of this video because we will be going to several areas showing you some of the places that we saw during our house hunt and giving you the pros and cons and all of that kind of information. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. So let me start from the beginning. We started our house hunting journey in about June end 2021. So we started researching about the market and what the budgets should look like, what areas are open to us, what are our requirements, what are the pros and cons of moving to certain areas. So let me start with my story as a landlord because that is very quick and you know brief. So if you're a landlord and if you have an apartment or a townhouse that you want to put up on rent, there are two ways of doing that. Number one, you could do it all by yourself. You have control over the entire transaction. Finding the tenant, see, meeting the tenant, showing the house to the tenant and then close the deal, have the contract signed and done deal. Now, the flip side of this is that you need to understand the real estate um, you know, contracts, how they work. You need to figure out where to even get such a contract from. Another con of handling this on your own is that whenever a prospective or a potential client or tenant calls you to view the property, you will have to be there physically. Given all that scenario, it is ideal to hire an agency, a real estate agent or an agency. We listed our property with several agents to begin with and what I realized that I was asking for a slightly higher rent than the market because of which the agents were not really bothered in pushing my property ahead because they wanted their commission quickly and only the properties that are low and are going or selling or renting like hotcakes they're pushing those so my property was sitting on the market for a good two two and a half months an agent did end up renting my property and we got someone who agreed to all our terms and conditions and we got our apartment rented after we did that we didn't have any place to go the tenant was going to move in in about two to three weeks and we were practically gonna be hopeless we were still looking for a three bedroom in the bag Finding an apartment or townhouse or any place to live in Dubai is extremely easy but you have to look at all the requirements that you have. Now I am extremely finicky, I have a list of requirements. I need a gym, I need a pool, I need it to be fairly new, I don't want it to be an old construction, I definitely need a balcony, um, I need the house to have some storage space. I was also looking for a place with a closed kitchen. There were a lot of requirements and very little time and also the budget constraints. Now I'm going to show you some of the places that we visited. We saw about 50 places in about 3 months. We went to a few apartments, a few townhouses. So we had our options open basically. So we were just looking to rent a 3 bedroom in Dubai. This is the first house that I saw ever and this is the beginning of our hunt back in June when I plugged in 3 bedroom and I did not say townhouse or apartment but when I said three bedroom and I sorted the listings from lowest, it gave me a ridiculous price. So I wanted to figure out what the hell is wrong with this place. I went to see the three bedroom purely with the intent of knowing what is wrong with this place. This is Damak Hills 2. It is in the middle of nowhere. It is completely disconnected from the civilization, the city. It is about 40 minutes away from everything. So here we are. This is our first house gym. This is the this is the living space. It is super tiny. I think a matchbox is bigger than this. I mean, look at the living space and the kitchen. Oh dear lord, it is a joke. What can fit in here? <laughs> Okay, this 
this is the master bedroom and thankfully they have built-in wardrobes but the wardrobes are super tiny this room cannot even fit a king size bed i practically measured it and this is a master bedroom oh look at that <laughs> they have a massive balcony i think a bed can fit here <laughs> uh, they have another bathroom which is i think common for the two other bedrooms upstairs um yeah there is one more balcony in this bedroom built-in wardrobes that's a plus and this is a super small backyard which is the perfect size this is the only best thing about this house next up we went to a place called pulse and it is located in dubai south these are the townhouses in the pulse so this is the master bedroom um this house does not have a tub they have walk-in closets this is a spacious master bedroom definitely much bigger than the one in damak hills too and it has a small balcony as well so this is a two bedroom townhouse this is the second bedroom also it has an attached bath decently sized built in wardrobe although we need more um but yeah and then we go downstairs this is a two bedroom plus study now since our budget was really low to begin with it was like 60000 dirhams and we wanted to find something with a study or an office this is a study and it has a guest bathroom it has a storage slash laundry this is a storage which is very very nice <laughs> super handy open kitchen but decently sized and the backyard is much much bigger as well this is a much better house than the previous one we saw the michaels too also has a furnished option they have so many clusters and one of them is called pacifica which is where we are right now and all the villas in this cluster are fully furnished the backyard of this townhouse can fit a jacuzzi and a pool and i don't know what not it's really like the fact that this was fully furnished i mean it comes not just with furniture but like utensils the iron board dryers rack i mean that's a lot of stuff and we were giving away our current house uh, for rent fully furnished so practically we would have to purchase everything new so this was going to save us a hell lot of money so there was something to keep in mind for sure carrying on to the next place now we're going to see an apartment we're seeing places non stop <laughs> uh this is gorgeous this this area is called town square by the way it is located also on um al qudra road so this was a three bedroom and the living space was massive although all these places that we are going to have open kitchens um massive terrace uh, i like that very uh, townhouse sort of a feeling uh this place has three full bathrooms this is a storeroom and then this is a maids room but we might just use it as partially storeroom um this is a second bedroom attached bathroom the first one didn't have attached bathroom the second one has attached bathroom all of them have massive wardrobe space which i absolutely love um and then i love the views from this place this is the master bedroom which sadly is quite small I mean all you can fit is a king size bed and that's pretty much it. Walk-in closet, great finishing. I love the quality. I love the bathroom. Um and oh yeah, this is another terrace. It is my god. <laughs> it is huge and this overlooks the town square park. So look at the size of that. <laughs> It's crazy. Uh but yeah, I love it. The nightlife I mean in the evening there there is like a splash park there and I think there's a Christmas market that comes up in December it is stunning they also have like a kids play area they have a couple of restaurants down here everything in walking distance and there's car for somewhere there as well so this is a great place to stay i love this was like my favorite all right on to the next one we're back in town square we've been hopping places left right center uh this is a town house in town square uh also this place has a lot of clusters this is in the noor cluster it's one of the new clusters this is brand new recently handed over uh this is three bedroom and this is a, a, a maids room or a store room whatever you may call it they have a storage and laundry open kitchen extremely small thinking of covering it up but i guess it might not look nice uh let's see 
but I like the fact that it's L shape. I like L shape living rooms because then there's space for a dining table. So yeah, this is the living area. That's it. And then we go upstairs. So all the three bedrooms are located upstairs. Two bedrooms share one bathroom. This could be either my office um, and my husband's mom lives with us. So this could be her room. All of them come with built-in wardrobes, which is great. And then this is the, sh the shower uh, sharing bathroom for the two bedrooms. This is the master bedroom. And this is probably the biggest master bedroom I've seen from all the houses we've seen so far. Massive washroom, love the tub, love this little detailing and these cabinets, great. And oh, this is my favorite part. It overlooks the green belt and it is so quiet. Oh my God, so peaceful. <laughs> And this is the backyard, not too big, not too small, not like the massive ones that we've been seeing in Damak Hills too, it's the perfect size. So far we've really liked the area of Town Square and we have liked the furnished option in Damak Hills too. Um, so yeah, we're going back to Town Square and seeing another apartment there. The drawback that I'm noticing in all and something consistent in all the houses is that everything has an open kitchen. So I guess we just have to make a piece with that. This has the uh, guest bathroom, one bedroom is right at the beginning and I think this is Vastu friendly if you guys are into that stuff. It's east facing, lots of wardrobe space, um, walk-in closet and the master bedroom. The master bedroom of this house is just as big as the one we saw in Noor townhouse. Okay, now this is the last area. Uh, this is called Imar South in Dubai South. Imar South. This is practically located opposite the Al Maktoum International Airport, the new one. This house will not be given furnished, it will be given empty, but this is like the show house or the show apartment and this is furnished by the developer just to show how it looks once furnished. They have a huge um, backyard, very well furnished. I like the finishings of this house. Of course, it's Imar, he's the best developer in Dubai. Uh, one master bedroom has attached bathroom and the other two bedrooms are sharing a bathroom. All of them have uh, built-in closets, which is great. But unfortunately, this house does not have a guest bathroom. So the entire house has only two full baths. That's a huge minus. Now, the reason you were looking at simplexes suddenly or apartments is simply because my husband's mom lives with us who's fairly old and cannot do stairs. That's the reason we ventured back into Temac Hills too and decided to see a four bedroom townhouse where one bedroom is located downstairs again open kitchen concept but fairly decent i think we can manage although this house doesn't have much storage space no maids room this is the only storage slash laundry room mm, yeah pretty good uh, sized uh, living space as well massive backyard that is one thing i'm seeing in damak hills too they just have huge balconies huge terraces huge backyards what is going on <laughs> and the rest of the three bedrooms are upstairs this is another terrace uh, upstairs um it faces the community which i really like i love the peace and quiet and uh, so this is probably going to be my office massive light comes into the house which i love uh, this is probably going to be, this is the master bedroom. It has a balcony with it, uh, overlooks the backyard and the other villas. Um, decent amount of wardrobe space. I wouldn't say there's a lot, but it's doable. Since there's a spare bedroom, which is this one, which we might turn into a gym or, I don't know, entertainment room or both. <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's that. So now that you've seen all these areas and the apartments and the townhouses that we had to show, tell me which one was your personal favorite? What attracted you the most? And guess which one did we choose? Did we settle for a townhouse or did we stick to an apartment? What do you think we moved into? Give me your answers in the comment section below. I am eager to know. So this was part one. Part two is about revealing where we are finally staying. Also, I will be mentioning the list of all the expenses that are involved when you finally go ahead and sign and 
move. Stay tuned for that one. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy. If you like this vlog, you know what to do. Give me a big fat thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any of my upcoming vlogs. I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys. Cheers. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Let's do that again. Hello everyone. If you are ah again. So stick around to the end of this video. Stick around to the end of this video. So stick around to the end of this video if you 